Okay, we've got a Well McLean Gold cast iron sectional oil fired boiler. Um, we've got a, a metal liner and the chimney. We'll see that when we look up that ash dump picture that I took. They lined it, which is appropriate. Uh, so, we've got steam heat in the original house, and then we have forced hot water and electric in the additions. Uh, how do we get the forced hot water? Well, what we, they did is they put a pigtail in, an internal tankless hot water heater here. They've got a circulator for it, and then a zone valve uh, for the thermostat up in the bedroom up above. So this is how we're getting our forced hot water heat generated. The problem with this is the minerals in the water, including the tankless uh, hot water pigtail. Over time, four to eight years usually, that pigtail gets so occluded that it can't recover. And then you're heating, even though you're getting heat, you're heating inefficiently. Uh, so that's the, that's the issue with this. Uh, I think the bottom line in today's world would be to look at uh, going um, forced hot water heat. If gas were available, I'd actually think about propane, uh, even though it's a little higher end, in the end run it's going to be better than oil, would be my bet. At least that's what people tell me. That's, that's what we're doing up in Maine uh, at this point. So, uh, put a forced hot water boiler in here, then put forced hot water loops for the original house. So you'd have a first floor zone, a second floor zone, you could zone all this out. Uh, if you wanted to get fancy, what you could do also is you could put forced hot water for the first floor, then you could put a hydro air unit up in the second floor, and then put an air conditioning unit in it so that you'd have your heating and cooling for that floor. Mm -hmm. Might be pretty slick to think about. I mean, there's a whole combination, but I would I would look at the baseline is the forced gas, forced hot water boiler, propane, there's no gas. And then I would look at uh, just adapting. You've got forced hot water loops now. You've got forced hot water loops that you can make in the house or you can do hydro air if you want the central air. Or you can put a separate air conditioning unit and blow down. You can always split those with a high velocity, mm -hmm. less smaller ducting. There's a whole gauntlet of ways of doing things. But in the end run, I mean, this is fine, but I'll bet you a nickel if you played with that, you'll find that it's included and it's not going to be efficient. Yeah. Uh, indirect hot water heater for uh, hot water, exactly what we want to see. So let's take a look at the uh, hot water heater, at the oil tank.